One of the most powerful options within Pratt concerns the analysis of spectrographic information. Let us illustrate this on the basis of one word which I will add to the object window by means of direct recording. I will choose new, record mono sound, select 22,050 hertz, mono, and I will record the word kiss. Kiss. Let's listen to it. Kiss. Okay. And let's give it the name kiss. Save to list at close will create a sound object with the name kiss. Now here I have my new sound object, KISS, and I can now apply the view and edit option. So what I will do first, I will zoom into the selection, view, zoom to selection. Now here I have my recording, KISS, okay. KISS, KISS, there we are. Now let's interpret this spectrogram. On the vertical axis, we find the frequency. The default is a range from 0 to 5000 Hertz. That's the standard analysis range for human speech. On the horizontal axis, we find the time in seconds. The default maximum is 10 seconds, but that's uh, normally not needed because we want to inspect shorter sounds. If sounds are longer, you know, we can either change the show analysis settings or we can zoom in as I've just done now. Well and then we have the third dimension in spectrograms, the degree of darkening which displays the intensity of certain frequencies as a so-called, if you wish, third dimension. Let us change the intensity settings within a spectrogram first, since this influences the visibility to a large extent. What we have to do is activate the menu option spectrum, spectrogram settings, and then let's change the dynamic range, that is the decibel value, to a lower value. Let's take 30 decibels instead of 50 decibels, the default, and you see what's happening is that many additional, well, let's call them soft noises, are no longer displayed. And now the formant frequencies are displayed more distinctively. If you click into the spectrogram, a red horizontal line appears and you can read off the frequency value on the vertical axis to the left. So here my cursor is at 2224 Hertz. More details about the formants can be retrieved with a few settings. With the menu option, formant, show formants, we can create an overlay of dots indicating the formant contours. Now if we just mark our vowel in KISS, KISS. We have a very interesting option to display the form and value, namely the option form and listing. And now you see the form and values of the selected portion in a text window from where you can either copy these values into other programs or you can save them into an external file. Now you see, for example, the vowel starts with an F1 value of 288 hertz. F2 is almost 2000, F3 is 2627, and the fourth formant, if you need it, has a value of 3703 hertz. Another interesting option is the option pitch. And again, with a few mouse clicks, you can show the pitch analysis. Now, this analysis displays a blue line, the movement of pitch. And the corresponding scale is displayed on the right hand side, ranging from 75 hertz to 500 hertz, the default value of pitch analysis. Now, normally, pitch is associated, as it is here in this part, with 
the fundamental frequency, that is the vibration of the vocal folds. Sometimes the lowest part could also be something like this. But here, of course, we know there is no fundamental frequency involved at all. So this is just, well, an analysis which we do not uh, want to comment any further. Now, if you click into the window, again, a horizontal line appears. And now you can read off the pitch of each of these points. However, there's also another option which is quite similar to the formant option. If you mark a certain portion again and you want to list the pitch, well, here you are, the pitch F0 ranges from 213 to 122, so clearly a falling voice. Let us finally make use of the picture window, which always shows up on program start, but is often closed manually for quick examinations. The picture window allows us to extract certain portions of the sound analysis and generate external graphics. For example, we can convert the spectrogram into some sort of image. Now here's the menu option, spectrum, and then paint visible spectrogram. And if we now say OK, then the picture window will open and you will see the spectrogram as an image, as a graphics, which you can now save let's say as a Pratt picture file, or you can save it in this case as a Windows meta file, so into an external format, even as an encapsulated postscript file. You can do the same with the formants. If you apply the menu option formant, draw visible formant contour, well, this is what you get. And again, you can save this as an external file or use it elsewhere. And finally, you have the same possibility with pitch, draw visible pitch contour, and here you are. Now, these options are important options for sound analysis. For example, the pitch analysis is very important for tone languages, um, for the analysis of intonation, Formant frequency analysis is very important for the distinction of particular vowels, let's say in sound shifts, and um, the spectrographic analysis in the Pratt sound editor is the basis of all these options. In addition to these possibilities, there are several possibilities of fine adjustment. For example, try the spectrogram settings here. And let's change these values and you see immediately the resolution of the spectrogram will change from a narrow band to a wide band and vice versa. Or you can apply pitch settings and many more to um, evoke changes in the display. These fine adjustments cannot be dealt with in this clip, but they should be applied whenever they are required.